Hey everybody, it's Emily the Crazy Worm Lady. Just a little midweek look on the Urban Worm Bag 2.0 to see how they were getting along with all of that kale and all the other goodness we gave them. And they seem to be all throughout. And this back right corner was where I kind of left a free zone for them. So let me move this lamp that I have so we can get a better look and see what's going on in here. See some of those European night crawlers are getting in on the action. warm in here but not hot there's it was a hair I mean just a very little bit of moisture on the the lid but um, not very much at all I'll show you before I turn off the camera I don't remember if this was the lemon probably because it's all moldy and some worms are already moving to it so it goes to show it doesn't really matter mold is what they feed on so mold in your bin is okay if it's dry, you want to be careful breathing in the spores until they eat it, but not going to hurt anything. But uh, it does appear like they've gone through just about everything. Although, there's a pocket down here. I think their update's going to have to be filmed early this week. Because they are blowing through this faster than I can even imagine. So, so far so good. I'll be back with you guys soon for another update. Alright guys, so full week update here in the Urban Worm Bag 2.0. Feeding a little bit early like I mentioned the other day because these guys are just blowing through it. There's nothing left for them. They're just all over the place. When I first opened the lid, there were a few climbers um, just right up here in the front for some reason. Actually, they were only red wigglers. They were not European night crawlers that were wandering, which is a little bit unusual. It's usually the blue worms and the European night crawlers that tend to be a little bit finicky that way, but that's fine. That lemon going to take a while to break down but I want to leave it up here so that we can see when it does because I like to show everybody everybody that um, worms do in fact love citrus so we're not going to feed in this back corner this week so that we can expand back late is coming I ordered it guys so I can stop doing this very weird setup that I have. But it's funny because it looks like a lot of the worms went to our safe zone for some reason. Like, a lot of worms. It's a bit unusual. I'm not really sure what to make of it because there's not any obvious signs of poor conditions in the bin here. So... A bit unusual, that's for sure, but nothing I don't think to be overly concerned about since everybody else seems happy and the bin doesn't feel warm anywhere, so I think we're fine. So let me get uh, a little something for these guys to eat and we will get them fed up. All right, so everywhere except this back left corner, which we're going to leave as a safe zone this week, is covered. I have a big spoonful of my, or scoop full of my mix, eggshell, kelp meal, diatomaceous earth, and neem cake. So, let's get this food in here. Alright, so I was able to nab myself a little something special today. I had, uh, acorn squash. I'm going to put both halves in here. 
I kept all the seeds inside. Actually, it was a big hole in this squash, and I asked my grocer if I could take it, and they said yes. So, that's huge as far as feeding is concerned. We know that. Um, but if these guys have proven anything, it's that they can handle it. Also have some corn muffins that got stale on the countertop. Just gonna sprinkle this in here. Wanna always be careful with grains, not to overdo it. Um, they can heat up and um, cause various other issues, but I do just have two of these. And it's a lot better than throwing these in the garbage. So, nice healthy sprinkling. Um, we have a lot of that bedding, which is gonna be good because this will release a lot of moisture when it um, starts to break down. So I'm just gonna put a few handfuls of my coconut core over top of everything and then loosely cover it with my other bedding. So give me one second. All right, guys, so that's gonna be it for today. Hopefully, move this light out of the way. So it's gonna be nice and dark, sorry. I'm just gonna take this stuff here, fluff it up over the top, um, and I'll show you in a second what it all looks like at the end here. So, we left that back corner as a free zone for them. That's the corner back here. And I just mounded the rest of this newspaper loosely over the top. It's an absorbance factor, um, as well as a kind of a buffer zone if any bugs try to come in. This is definitely not gonna stop them, but hopefully it will have absorbed any sort of the moisture that is attracting them. So I'm gonna give one more sprinkle, although I'm not seeing any bugs in here. Not gonna hurt anything, that's for sure. I'll just mix this around here. Let some of that stuff get down to the coconut core, and we will leave this for a week. I will poke in midweek like I did as well so we can see if there's any exciting action going on. So let me know what you think. Drop your comments below. Like this video, subscribe if you'd like some more content from me, and I'll be back with you guys next week for an update.